I saw people! I remember growing up and being diverse in your music. Let me talk a little bit. Because you know me. Being diverse in your music pretty much wasn't allowed. I mean, I personally, I, I you know, here, here, I'll give you a little scenario. I liked Poison, which was everybody thought back in the day, either you love them or you hate them. They were a glam sensation or they were posers who didn't really play their instrument, which really makes no sense to me. If they wrote the songs themselves, they played their own. That's a different story. And I liked, say, Slayer or your Testament. But yet, two totally different worlds. Back in the day, you couldn't like both of them. Everybody was like, you're either a metalhead or you're a poser. All right. You can't go to either. You can't like both. And that was just messed up. I'm like, eh, I like whatever the hell I want to like. You gonna sit there and call me a poser because I'm going to freaking see a glam band and I'll come and see a testament show? I mean, really? Hell. And then on the way home, I've got Run DMC in my car. You got a problem with that? My mixtape? Have a little Run DMC? Have a little poison? We'll have a little testament? We'll throw some bands in that only the hardcore people know I've heard of. Heaven's Edge? You ever heard of them? Tiger Tails? Mm -hmm. And then we'll end it off. I don't know. I mean, just. I, I hated that. I hated that whole pinning thing. It's not what it's about. Today, today it's a lot better. It's a lot better. I'm still not a pop music fan. You know, this whole. What's now hot now? The Gundam style crap. Really? That's like the Ricky Martin or the yeah, the Ricky Martin or the the the, the what's that? Macarena shit of the of yesterday. We used to have. I worked in a music store, right? From like ninety, nineteen ninety to like nineteen ninety nine. Worked in a music store, right? And we used to have these contests. Me and other employees. Yeah, what's my camera doing right there? That was weird. So we have these contests to see who can find the most annoying song and play it. And the first one to surrender loses. So it'd be one on one. And my go to CD, if I couldn't find nothing else and we were going head to head, would be this Macarena, Macarena remix CD that had like a 14 minute long remix version of Macarena on it. One every time. It's the same thing with the Gundam. I don't even know how the beat goes. I watched it once because it was hooked up to freaking Christmas lights or something. Halloween lights. That's the only way I are. Whatever. Anyway. Shoe video? 452. So, number. Oh, what do we got? Have I done this video? This shoe? I guess not. I forgot about this shoe. I wasn't even going to get this shoe. What's the colorway? Charcoal. Charcoal. Polo. But, uh, there it is. I wasn't going to get it until I walked in the store. They actually had, didn't even have them out on the shelf. Crack! They didn't have them out on the shelf yet. And it was like an hour into this day. And I'm like, you have those LeBrons that came out today? Because I'm going to check them out and see what they look like, you know, in person. And I'm like, LeBrons came out today? Uh, hey, did the LeBrons come out? Uh, yeah, oh, it says the 50. Okay. And they brought them out. Anyway. So I saw it, and I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm getting them. I'm getting them. I think these will be my, like, my, uh... Beater LeBrons, I guess you could say. Uh, I won't really trash them, but if it looks like rain, maybe I'll throw these on. Because you got your pop. You don't have to worry about if they got wet or trashed or whatever. Anyway. And... We got the orange paper in there. 
So there we are, more splatter paint crap. Let's stop with the splatter paint. Stop it. Especially when it's going off the freaking area you got it. I mean, come on. Come on, people. Come on, people. You know, I wanted to... I was thinking the uh, other day. And with the whole way everything's selling out now and how, you know, Nike's not always producing as many shoes as they need to. I wonder if they realized this. Because it just, I had an epiphany, an epiphany the other day. Because I'm driving down the road, my mind's wandering as usual. Back 20 years ago, all right, let's go 25 years ago or so. Let's go 28. Jordan, the first Jordan. Came out, I was 14. Who's going to buy the Jordan 14s? Or pff, the Jordan 14s. When I'm 14, who's going to buy the Jordan 1s? Well, chances are you're going to have one generation. You're going to have, say, your 14 to 19 year olds. Yeah, you might have some, a few, a little bit older, uh, a little bit younger, maybe. But that's going to be your criteria right there. All right. The way I'm looking at it. Fast forward 10 years. 14, I'm 24. Okay. Now you've got. Not only from like 14 to 19, you've got, by this time, you've got basically like 12 to 24, 25. All right? So you just expanded who's going to buy your product. Okay? Is it doubled? Almost doubled. Yeah. Pretty much doubled. Who's going to buy your product? Every 10 years, if you think about it. You jump ahead another 10 years, all right? Now you've got people who's up to 35 or whatever who's, who's going to buy shoes. When chances are, 10 years prior, there wasn't a 35-year-old buying your shoe. All right, so you just jumped ahead another five. And then the way kids are progressing nowadays, you I would take even another step back. So you got 11-year-olds to 35-year-olds buying your shoe. Okay, say this is... Uh, 2002. So you could produce less shoe. Now you get in, well, it's like, not 2002, it's 35, it was only six years ago. But anyway, so you take it to today where, say, I'm 41, all right? Then you have your like 11 year olds to like your 45 year olds, 45, 46, and sometimes even more. Because as, as the hype went on, it got, it, ex not only did you add a generation on each time, you expanded those generations a little. So I wonder if Knight realizes that, say, 20 years ago, you you know you didn't have as many customers who were born, <laughs> as opposed to when the whole you know when it started. It was just a small bubble. But then you add every 10 years, you add another generation of fans coming into the shoe game onto that it's going to expand rather quickly anyway I'll probably edit all that out because that's just a lot of mumbo jumbo and it's already 10 minutes into this video for a freaking LeBron alright so anyway that's it for now I got one more I picked up today that came out today but I had to get it online so we'll save a little hang up video for that coming soon. It's the Air Force One Foam Posit Safety Orange. So that'll be coming in. I think that's the only thing I got on order. So and then we got next week, we got the Breads and the Thunders coming. Anyway, that's it. That's it for me. That's it for this series of videos. Hopefully I'll won't think they're worth redoing because pretty much just like blah mood you know all right later